First Samuel chapter 3, verse 11. First Samuel 3. Take your Bibles, everybody. And the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I will do a new thing in Israel, at which both ears of everyone that heareth it shall tingle. Hear me very well. God is about to do something in your life that every ear that hears it shall tingle. People may have written you off, but God is about to do something in your life that every ear that hears will tingle. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Sit down as one that is in charge. Thank you, Jesus. God is about to do something that every ear that hears will tingle. That is, that's the kind of miracle God will give to you. It will be shocking. I met this man oh, last week and this week he's talking about traditional marriage. And not just joke, he has bought everything. We have printed card. We have checked he's a good man. I can't believe it. It's been confirmed. God can give you grace and everything will change. I see miracle come your way. I see miracle come your way. Acts chapter 3. We have entered into the written. Verse 1, verse 2, verse 8, verse 9. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from the mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask arms of them that entered into the temple. Verse 8. And he leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. The Bible said that there was a man that was lame from the mother's womb. May I tell you, no matter how well dressed you are, there is an issue in your life. Am I communicating? No matter how well dressed you are, there is an issue in your life. The Bible said this man was born lame from the mother's womb. Issues are universal. That's why I'll be speaking on a topic. My issues must be settled today. My issues must be settled. My issues must be settled today. Issues are universal. Issues are national. There are people high in position. There are people high in position in government. There are people who hold positions of honor. There are people in power. If they open their mouth to tell you what they are going through, you will never desire to be like them. If they open their mouth to tell you what they are going through, you will never desire to be like them. If you don't agree, they are telling you you have issue. You say, I don't agree. Sister, you have an issue. You say, I don't have an issue. I don't have any problem. That you are denying you don't have an issue is a major issue already. Am I complicated? That you are denying that you don't have. You are arguing that you don't have an issue. It's an issue. It's a major one for that matter. The issue is a bigger issue. When you say to yourself, I don't have problem, is a sign that your problem is maxima. It's a sign that your problem is big. Because when you look at your life, there is a problem you want God to solve. When you look at your life very well, there is a problem you want God to solve. And you are saying you have no problem. Look at your home. Look at your marriage. Look at your business. There is an issue. There is something you want God to solve. I see change come today. Help me tell five people by your side. My issues must be set to today. I say my issues must be set to today. I can go on and on and talk on foundation. The place we read in the Bible, number one, the Bible said the person was born lame from the mother's womb. That's foundational problem. Issues become terrible when they are connected to foundation. 
issues become terrible when they are traceable to your village. Issues become terrible when they are connected to your foundation. When you have a problem that's traceable to your hometown, connected to your mother, connected to your father, connected to your uncle, your cousin, is a major issue. Issues become maximal when they are connected to your foundation. But I decree by the reason of the power in this service, you are free from such problems this morning in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, every ungodly foundation, take it as a prayer. Stand up, everybody. Say, in the name of Jesus, every ungodly foundation frustrating my life. What are you waiting for? Break, 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 break. Every ungodly foundation, every ungodly foundation frustrating my life. Pray, 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 pray. Every ungodly foundation. In Jesus' name. Sit down. Every ungodly foundation in my life, in your life, must break today. I said, must break today. I said, must break today. Psalm 11, verse 3. Psalm 11, verse 3. Psalm 11, verse 3. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? This place, when I read it, it touched me so much. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The rest, it means that he is pure. It means he is holy. It means he is righteous. But he has a foundational problem. Their righteousness will not stop you from having a foundational problem. That they are righteous, when the trumpet sounds, you go to heaven. When somebody is possessed, you can be born again. It is your spirit that is born again. Your flesh can be in bondage because of ignorance. Ignorance is a very terrible spiritual disease. But knowledge that is back of action will get you out of the woods. Your righteousness will take you to heaven. That's why the Bible did not write only holiness. In Obedee verse 17. He said, Upon man Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. He would have taken everything and would have hidden them inside holiness. But he wanted us to know that these three are too important. Deliverance, holiness, prosperity. So your deliverance, if you neglect it, can stop you from living for God. Do you know that you can make heaven as a poor man? But do you also know that if you don't want God to bless you, that poverty can make you to make hell? That's a level of frustration that will come to you. Your friends will tell you, let's go to that side. Let's go to that side. By the time you know it, if you're not careful, you will leave Jesus Christ. That's why I say, God bless me. God should bless you. Listen to me. There are levels of blessings. There are levels of blessing. Any little one you see, appreciate God. The more you appreciate Him, He will bless you more. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Which means He is pure, the righteous. He is holy, but He has a foundational problem. When you have a foundational problem, you can make heaven. But the problem will stop you here. You see a 40 year old man, he sleeps in his house to 10 a.m. 40 year old man at 40 he will sleep in the house till 10 a.m you wake him up he say hey television this one 40 years he's sleeping every day you are in the house sleeping you started sleeping before everybody and you are the last to wake up do you know it's a disease for men to go to the bedroom and spend one hour it's a disease how can a man enter the bedroom and spend one hour to take a bath? What are you doing there? Are you giving birth? How can a man enter the bedroom? A married man, he say, Honey, sweetheart, give me more water. The wife is running. Do you need more? And the wife has never imagined to ask herself, Is this man normal? What is he doing inside the bedroom? For one hour, you see a girl that is not married and she refused to dress well. You ask her, why are you not dressing well? She said, I don't want to miss heaven. Dressing well is even for worldliness. 
and you ask the sister be in order she said i don't want to miss heaven you are now more righteous than the holy ghost and our sister that is so beautiful captivating a charming sister that should walk on the road and people will look at this one be natural it should be natural and beautiful she will go and look for the nonsense things in the gutter and put on her body and sister beauty will turn to sister Mbeke. something needs to be done am i complicated i don't want to miss heaven something is controlling her that wants to send her helpers away from her there are some men their wives beg them to walk go and walk he tells the wife that it is not by walk it's by strength shall no man prevail by strength shall no man prevail god is changing something today i said god is changing something today when i see some people behave abnormally i will call them and sit them down the question i ask them is please who is your mother who is your father please don't joke with this thing when you see some people behave abnormally as they are trying to help them their behavior ask who their mothers and fathers are their family foundation what is disturbing them could be from the mother or father if you know their mother check the life their mother is living check the life their father is living check the life in the family if it's affecting them your prayer becomes easier you know how to cut them off because what they may be manifesting may be what is in their mother or father there are young men that drink and smoke go and ask questions about their father ask questions about their father they drink and smoke without remedy ask questions about their father there are young ladies they can't stay with a man they will move from this man. People say she's married, though, they move to another man. Married, though, they move to another one. There are some ladies that have four children for four different men. Go and ask who their mother is. Check their mother. Let them tell you the truth. Call them, sit them down. Ask them, tell me about your mother. You will discover that what is happening to them happened to their mother. And when I discover that these things are not from them, which is 95%, must come from them if it's not from them then we know how to handle them five percent which is very easy but if it's from them we know how to cut them off if not they will end up the same way their mother and their father ended he says sister this one loves you how am i sure he loves me i don't believe it i don't think i'm the only one this year husband loves you i don't think so i know he loves me but inside this i don't think so I don't this one I'm suspecting him I'm suspecting him he's going with some people I'm suspecting him there are some other people beloved without knowing that Satan has perverted her wisdom so that what happened to her mother will happen to her you say my wife I'm telling you this my husband I'm telling you this he said how, how am I sure it's like it's like it's like there's nothing you talk that she will listen to or he'll listen to she will not even know that is the devil at work that has perverted her wisdom she will think she's wise but she will know it's the devil that wants what happened to her mother to happen to her what happened to the father to happen to him foundational problem he said this man was born blind from the womb that's foundation foundation we are dealing with foundation today after today you'll smile home you don't become unfaithful because somebody is unfaithful. Somebody is telling you. He said, I think this is what he's doing. This is what he's doing. I'm suspecting him. You don't become wrong because somebody is wrong. You don't become unfaithful because somebody is unfaithful. Because unfaithfulness cannot settle unfaithfulness. Because of this, you see two young ladies. Young ladies at the age of 30, 25, 28, 29, 31, 32. Very young ladies. And they are looking 56. Because of what? Anyone that comes to them, presses them. 
like bread. Have you seen bread? When you go to buy bread, they say, not today bread, not today bread, not today bread. You know by you live. This one, not today bread, not today bread. You know by you live. And that person comes, not today bread, not today bread. You live. The 20 people, not today bread, not today bread. And they will not buy. Sometime I went to buy a brand new car. Tear rubber mint. When I got to the place, with the two people I went to it, I priced and said, this is wonderful. Can we just drive it around and, and test it? They said, this one, you don't test it. You pay and carry. And we went to buy Tokumbo. When we got to buy Tokumbo, we said, can we? Say you can't drive. Go to VI. Carry it and go to Ojuelema. Test it and come back. And they gave us, we drove for about 25 minutes. Testing it. Anybody that comes to you, presses you without paying, you are Tokumbo. Am I communicating? He presses you and goes, takes you out, does everything and drop you. You are Tokumbo. If you are Tiaroba Mint, the person will pay and carry. Am I communicating? It's a very serious thing. I see a new thing in the life of people here. That is why you see a lady, young lady of 33, young lady of 33, 32, 30, 29, 25. They'll be looking 56. Because they have pressed the bread. The bread and the bread and the bread is now shrinking. Am I communicating? Am I communicating? God is changing us today. Anybody that they are texting before payment is what? Is Tokumbo. Some ladies are making these terrible mistakes. Are you sure? Test him first. Test him first. Are you sure? I don't trust some of these men, no. They are not men, no. Some of them are not. Test them, no. Test them. Some ladies. I can't marry you without testing the person. I will give you something that happened in my office. A young lady came to me I said, from a big church around, a big church in Lagos. She came and said, I don't, I, I, I don't, I'm afraid what happened to my friend not to happen to me. I said, what happened to your friend? He said, my friend just married and discovered that the man is completely impotent. And I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want that to happen to me. And because of that thing, uh, that's why I'm bringing somebody I want to marry to you before I go to my church. And I said, okay, what are you trying to tell me? Have you, how do you know the person is not important? He said, I, I decided to test him. Now listen to me. I decided to test him. And when she said that, I closed my eyes to pray. And I moved into the Santum Santorium. I moved into the realm of the spirit. I opened my eyes. I saw the young man as being professionally important. But the lady did not know. And God showed me what the man had been doing. And I said, call the man. Beloved, to cut his short. The man came to meet me. And when he came to meet me, I said, I am the one. And I told him, I said, tell me the truth. You have been doing this? He said, yes. And he didn't come with what was helping him. Today, are you normal? He said, I am not normal. For 26 years. 26 years. For 26 years. And I told the lady, you have to marry him. You have gone far. Two of you are Tokumbos. You have to marry him. He said, I'm not married again. You, in front of the man. I don't go marry him. I said, what? Didn't you test him? You tested him. You have seen the salt, the sugar, the oil. You have to marry him. The young man cried and cried and cried. And the lady left him. The young man came to the church to meet me. When he came to meet me, as he was crying, I began to shed tears. I saw a sincere man who was led into what he was led into, not that he wanted to. And I told him, we will pray by 12 tomorrow. When he came, I had house with him. We sang and sang after singing for about 20 something minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, he came back and began to jump up. He came back and the lady came back and married the man. As I talk to right now, they have three children. 
she has come here, danced, shouted. The man came. The day the man came here, he ran. Church has not dismissed. They were sharing grace. After sharing grace, I sat down. He jumped on me. Here, I was sitting down. I said, "Please, I don't know you again." I checked the face. He said, "I am the one you prayed for. The one that was important. I want the one, the one, the one, the one." Today, I prophesy over your life. Any problem in your life shall be settled today. You were here when God healed the mad woman. They brought a mad woman here in this conference and God healed her. That God that healed that woman will heal all your problems. So many ladies have entered into a problem. Let me test, test, test. When you test, you will have what I call STDs. Some of you here, you only know one STD. You don't know the second STD. You have sexually transmitted diseases. You also have sexually transmitted demons. The worst is even the demons. You will see a man who will come to sleep with you as a woman. Everything about you will scatter. And you see a woman, a lady that will go and sleep with a man that was making progress. This man is making progress. The lady will go and sleep with the man. They will sack the man in the office. Contract, favor, disappear. That's demon she has been able to transfer. And the man transfers. Everything about you, marriage, life scatters. Sexually transmitted demons. They are more dangerous than the diseases. You are before a good job. And immediately you do it, it is taken from you. Before your two eyes. He said, but I'm qualified. What happened? What happened? So many ladies have gotten into that problem. But today we shall settle those things. I said we shall settle those things. Am I communicating? Am I communicating? Tell somebody, check your foundation. Check your foundation. Tell somebody, check your foundation. Your foundation has a lot to say about you. What killed your father cannot kill you. The second thing I saw from that man before we pray, the second thing I discovered about the, about the issue in the life of that man, the Bible said the man was carried daily to the gate. A life of continuous dependence on people is a life of issues. A life of continuous dependence on people is a life of issues. People had to carry him to the gate every day. Until you struggle, you can't buy paper and buy road to write. Until you struggle, you can't eat once a day. Psalm 121, verse 1. Psalm 121, verse 1. Say, I will lift up my eyes unto the hill, for whence cometh my help. God can use men to bless you, but men are not your source. Our help does not come from abroad. Our help comes from above. God can use men to bless you, but men are not your source. Our help, our children of God, does not come from abroad. Our help comes from above. Am I speaking to somebody? God is your source. Man is not your source, but God can use man. God does not open doors. Some people say, what is this talking? is blasphemy. God does not open doors. But God says open door before you. He says open door. When he sets the open door, that is something you need to do. He will set it. When you do that thing, you enter. He said, why is it this one? Always, always, always. Because he sets before you and set before him, he enters. Number three, the third thing I saw there, a life of issues is a life you will see it happen to others, but it will not happen to you. We are always telling stories. You will see it happen to others, but it will not happen to you. Have you ever listened to testimony of others and deep down in your heart you are saying, God, I wish I'm the one that has this breakthrough. I wish. It's the same anointing. But today, the anointing that was not working for you before will start working for you today. Today I decree you will not only hear and see it will happen to you. You will not only hear and see it will happen to you. If your issues must be solved 
you must understand that there is time for everything ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 says there is time for everything ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11 says time and chance happening to them all and psalm 102 verse 13 said for a time to favor her yea the set time is come how do i make my time to come closer and manifest fast and manifest now how do i do it how will my own time how will i make it since everybody has time how will i make my own to come closer and manifest now very simple check what the bible said the bible says and they went to the temple at the hour of prayer they went to the temple at the hour of what prayer so if i want my hour to come if i want my time to come pray prayer fast forwards your timing prayer fast forward your timing the bible said pray jesus said to that woman it is not good to give children food to dogs it is not good to give children food to dogs the woman began to kabash yes i know even dogs eat the ones that fell from the table jesus said i have heard your faith is uncommon woman i will answer you what does that mean even when god said no to your prayer you can use prayer to change it am i communicating when he sent isaiah to go and tell his to die as i went and delivered the message he turned to the wall and prayed and said father he said sorry stop 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 i had 15 more years i had 15 more years even when it looks as if your job is being taken away from you your contract your favor your promotion everything is working against you you turn to god in prayers the bible says that it got to a time that joshua was fighting people that were against god as they are doing the bible said it was getting late it was getting late if you go to joshua chapter 10 you'll get it very well the bible says that there was a time joshua began to fight the enemies of god and he was fighting them the bible says and the sky was going black with cloud prayer can change everything and if it gotten that late and everywhere is dark the enemies could have won him he said father i respect you you are the one that created me you created the heavens and the earth you created the dry land and the sea you created the morning you created the night you are the one that has the final say but permit me to ask you for something i want to change it for now because they must not win us i want to change it for now oh god i want the sun to stand still let there be no night again let the night turn to morning let the sun stand still none of the enemies will escape all of them will go down and the lord said i obey you i listen to you and the sun stand still and joshua destroy all the enemies i prophesy today anything that is against you even if it is god that spoke it today with your faith and my faith we change it to our favor we change it to our favor everybody here who is experiencing a night season no night is too dark that they cannot break and by the authority vessel upon me by god i change your night to morning now the darkness in your life is changed to morning now even if they have planned in the witchcraft world even if they say you will not marry you will not have children to the next 15 years hey i prophesy if they say you will not get that job you will not get the promotion you will not be favored you will not marry you will not have your children to the next 10 years 12 years 15 years i change it to 10 weeks i change it to 10 weeks i change some to 10 days in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus is any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church let them pray for him anointing with oil in the name of the lord and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and if they have committed sins he shall be forgiving them that's what prayer does prayer forgives sin prayer wipes away sins 
prayer changes situation. Anything in your life that is like a mountain, by the authority vessel upon me by God, I change it now. Are you ready to pray? Stand up, everybody. Everybody, this is not a prayer. One person say, God, have mercy on me. Anywhere that is sin in my life, everybody, everybody, lift up your right hand and say, Have mercy on me, Lord. Anywhere that is sin in my life, please forgive me. I surrender my life afresh to you. I renew my strength. I renew my relationship with you. I want to serve you to the end. So that when the trumpet sound, I will not be found missing in heaven. Thank you for saving me. And everybody say a loud amen. amen. Beloved, if you pray with me, you will live here shouting and shouting and shouting for testimonies. If you pray with me, and once I say amen, stop. Say, my, my father, the lion of the tribe of Judah, every diabolic oppression targeted at my life, targeted at my destiny, I speak to that power. I speak to the initiator. I speak to that power. I speak to the initiator. Die! 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 Hey! I will not carry another man's problem. I will not carry another man's problem. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Hey! 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 In Jesus' precious name. <laughs> hey! My father, the lion of the tribe of Judah, enter my life. Carry out an oppression. Disconnect me from every root that be limiting me. <laughs> hey, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Hear me. Let the wind of the Holy Ghost blow me to the right place. In the name of Jesus, pray, pray, pray. Let the wind of the Holy Ghost blow me to the right place. Hey, 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 hey. Blow me to the right place. Now, blow me, 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 blow me to the right place. Blow me, blow me, blow me, blow me. Hey, in Jesus' name. Say, my father, my father. Every gate of hell against my life against my family against my business against royal choice scatter in the name of jesus pray, 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 pray. every gate of hell against us scatter 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 In Jesus' name, oh Lord, I disconnect myself from every evil family pattern affecting my life. Oh Lord, oh Lord, you have my permission. Enter into my family, my paternal side, my maternal side, where I am married into. Oh Lord, disconnect me from every evil foundation. In the name of Jesus, pray, 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 pray. You have my permission. Oh God, enter into my family from my paternal side or maternal side or where I am married into or where I am married from. Disconnect me from every evil foundation. In the name of Jesus, hey, 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 anywhere you are. Joining us in this prayer, you will not be the same again. Hey! In Jesus' name, anywhere you are, in any part of the world, 
North America, South America, Asia, Europe, any part of Africa, any part of Nigeria. Pray in this prayer with us now. The same miracles we are receiving now, you will receive. There are some people, they would, have been, they would have been celebrating, but the enemy have been fighting their celebration because of one thing, location. There are some people, they look for office. They got office in a wrong place. God has settled them for celebration, but they got office in a place that's fighting their celebration. There are some people, they got shop, they got accommodation, a house, and where they build their house is center of demons. Where people sacrifice and did so many things. And it's stopping their celebration. Location is fighting your celebration. Today we are going to deal with that spirit right now. And everything will change. Every wrong location. Fighting my celebration. Hey, Holy Ghost. Arise. Relocate me to my place of celebration now. Relocate me. Listen to me. When I say relocate you, you will see be that place. It could be one thing you see as you're joking with somebody. You may have a visitor that will come to your office. Maybe this is where your table has been. And your chair has been here. And God is about to change your story. Somebody will just come to your office. You will laugh. The person will just want to fall. Somebody will hit the person. The person will fall and shift their table. As you're trying to position the table again, the leg will no longer be where they may sacrifice. It will be in another place. And God has repositioned you. I'm telling you mistress in the spirit. Oh God, you're going to pray now. Every wrong location. <laughs> fighting my celebration do you know there are visitors that come to your office your story changes even if the place is center of demons there are somebody that will enter there the demons will pack and go every wrong location fighting my celebration Holy Ghost arise relocate me to my place of destiny in the name of Jesus manaka ba 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 Hey! Hey! In Jesus' name. Don't joke with this prayer point I'm going to give now. They're going to pray like every attraction distracting you from your hair pass. Hey. Let me just two of you. The two of you will come. You, you are here now and he's here. Let me give you an example now. And there is something God has been telling you to do for him. You may have the idea he has the money. You may have the idea you have the money. It can be any side. And there is something God has been telling you to do. And as I try to do it, he said, I just feel like doing something for him. I just feel like doing something for him. He's passing. He has been praying for marriage to marry. And you are passing like this now. Just pass. He left you. Just go. He has left you. That's supposed to help you financially. Let's settle one first. It is purpose before partner. He will leave you and say, Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Say, Sister, are you ready for marriage? Am I, are you getting me? He will leave because it's purpose before partner. If you don't settle purpose, you're going into partnership. Marriage is a problem. You don't know what you want to be in life. Forget about the money coming, but you must have direction. Now you go to her. You should settle this one first. If she is for you, she will come. Am I complicated? It's a very serious matter. We are going to handle everything and it's coming. Let me give you another example. Come. The two come, come, come. Let me use, let me use another. There is something you have that she does not have. And that thing that does not her line. And you have that thing now. She does not have it. As soon as you come, she needs it from you. She's happy that you are here. She's happy that you are here. She has been praying. It is not her fault. You have come to help her. It is not her fault now. She's praying. All of a sudden, Pastor Fortune will come and say, hey, hey, that man that will be looking for you is around. This one will start crying. But he has no power to call you back. But somebody that is greater has taken you away. Take him, take him away. Somebody has taken him away. It's a distraction. It's an attraction that is distracting you from your helpers. This one is crying. What do I do? If you pray this prayer, you will have solution. Every attraction distracting me from my helpers. I disconnect myself. I disconnect myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I disconnect myself. I disconnect myself. I disconnect myself. I disconnect myself. Hey! 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 Oh! Maka pa 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 pa. Zeke ke 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 ke. In Jesus' name. How many of us are in church with phone? If you're in church, share with phone. Can I see your hand? Bring your hand. If your phones are switched off, can I see your hand? Now, switch on your phones. Put them in silent mode. Because some people will get text messages now. That will change your story. Put them in silent mode. Switch on your phones. Put them in silent mode. It could be for the job you're looking for. It could be for the marriage. It could be for connection, the favor. The angels of God are everywhere. Everywhere. And they want to transfer some through phones, some through contacts. Right now, something is happening here. My God, shout it! My father, my father, my father, my father. the lion of the tribe of Judah. <laughs> oh Lord! Oh Lord! You have my permission. My father's side, go. My mother's side, go. Where I married from, go. Where I was married into, go. The place I was married to, go. Kill who should be killed. Spare who should be spared. In the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Lord. Go to my father's side. My mother's side. Kill who should be killed. Spare who should be spared. Like a boss, I can't baba. Like a take a broker, I can't baba. Hey, hey, hey. In Jesus name people are looking at me as somebody who's supposed to have this but my life is a contradiction to what they believe when they look at me I tell them I don't have they doubt it is a contradiction anything that makes my life a contradiction scatter 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 in Jesus name shout it Every controversy in my life in the name of Jesus today expire by fire in the name of Jesus in Jesus name the last one if you hold somebody's hand the same prayer point leave the person go to another hold hand pray leave the person go to another person until you complete five until complete five, you will just hold one person. You pray, leave the person, go to another person. The same prayer point, leave the person, go to another person until you complete five. Five, a number of mercy, M E R C Y, number of grace, G R A C E, number of Jesus, J E S U S. Something is about to happen here now. Something is about to happen. Any satanic demand for my head, for my destiny, for my family, for rare choice, backfire. In the name of Jesus, that is it. Give me a hand, hand. Yes, 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 yes. Complete it five. Yes, yes. Hey, hey. Any satanic demand for my head, 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 for my head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold somebody, hold somebody. Any satanic demand for my head, for my head. Yeah, can't take, can't take, can't take. Any satanic demand. For my head, backfire, 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 and a satanic demand for my head, backfire in the name of Jesus, and a satanic demand for my head, backfire, 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 
by fire and a satanic demon from my head by fire yeah pray 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 and a satanic demon from my head from my head yes 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 and a satanic demon from my head backfire backfire In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Our cases are settled. Our issues are settled. Clap for Jesus, everybody. Clap for Jesus, everybody. Until you have Christ in your life, no matter your excellent record and success, you are a vanity. Therefore, pray this prayer aloud in order to be saved. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive me all my sins. I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died to save me and you were raised up from the dead. Dear Jesus, come and live in my heart. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. I am now born again. In Jesus' name, amen. Come worship with us at Royal Choice Ministries, number 10, Alaito Ishinuga Street, of Agboyu Road, Alakwere Kitu, Lagos State, Nigeria. Thank you for watching and remain blessed.